Is non-refundable to retainer no longer preferable? Should my contract state non-refundable payment? We want to reduce ambiguity. Depending on jurisdiction, it's been litigated. You can go out and search it. Every jurisdiction may have a different definition attached to retainer or deposit. We have the commonly understood ones, right? You see it all the time in groups. Well, retainer is to retain you and it's non-refundable. Deposit is refundable, less any like damages, right? I'm getting more of the mindset, especially with litigating these contracts, is if we can reduce ambiguities, we should. I'm moving towards initial non-refundable payments, but that's not it. That's not all. The important part is how we define that term and really specifically what that payment compensates you for should there be a breach, et cetera, and what it is that you're being compensated for and with that initial payment.